the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. My name's Allie Fuddy. Um, I have Star Guards disease, so I have no central vision at all. And um, I'm just going to share today a little bit about my new Apple Watch uh, Series 4. Um, I got this for Christmas, and so I've been using it for uh, a little over a week now, and I'm just finding um, how incredibly accessible it is using voiceover. I think that this is really the first mainstream smartwatch that is fully accessible in and of itself, and you don't have to use the app on your phone or anything to be able to control it or do things on it. Um, so I just wanted to show a little bit about how well voiceover works with it today. Um, so to turn voiceover on, all I have to do, um, because you know you don't always want voiceover on, you don't want your phone just talking constantly necessarily, I just triple click this crown Voice button on the side. 11.29 a.m. in one second. It turns on, it tells me what time it is. Um, and then if I hit the crown button again, Clock. it brings me into the main screen, um, which my vision is not good enough. I cannot see what any of those icons are. Um, but just like on a phone or an iPad, I can Alarm. swipe through. Headspace. Good task. Yell. Mail. Workout. Breathe. Maps. Cavaliers. Shazam. Reminders, phone, calendar, weather. Um, and I can hear Actions all available. my different apps, and if I double tap on anything, it'll open it up. Weather. Um, so. Current location, South Burlington. Snow showers, 30 degrees. High, 32 degrees. Low, 28 degrees. And the other nice feature is that um, Siri's weather. integrated. So if I hold down the side button, I can pretty much do anything with Siri that I can do on my phone. So um, let's say I want to um, make a phone call or something like that or just get a piece of information. I just hold down the side button. So um, let me see. Okay. What was the score of the Ohio State football game? Ohio State narrowly defeated Washington in the Rose Bowl by a score of 28 to 23 last Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, it works really well, um, and I find I have yet to find something that isn't voiceover accessible on here. All of Apple's native apps are fully voiceover accessible. They've done a really nice job with it. I've heard some third-party apps don't work as well, but I haven't run into one yet. So um, I've just been really happy with this. I think Apple really um, has finally created a fully accessible mainstream smartwatch, and uh, that's how I do it. If you, or a loved one, needs assistance coping with vision loss, contact the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired at 802-863-1358. Or to learn more, go to our website, www.vabvi.org.